Kickstarter had a huge year, so much of a good year that I wanted to tell you about all the good Kickstarter projects of 2014. I always follow Kickstarter. I usually put a project in every other episode or so, so I know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna talk about Kickstarter. Can we start this episode now? <laughs> Let's start with the most funded campaign. The most funded campaign this year was also considered the most successful Kickstarter campaign ever. It's the Coolest Cooler. A seriously goofy but multifunctional cooler including an array of gadgets. I just wanted to make sure you guys realize this is the cooler. Anyway, this thing even outdid the Pebble Smartwatch's success, which means it made over $13 million. And it's a cooler. If you're finally convinced you want a cooler with all these things in it, it's $2.99. Oh, 3D printers. There's so many of you coming out constantly, and you all seem the same. But this year, a couple of good ones came out. The Micro 3D printer raised over $3 million after only asking for 50,000, making it the third most successful campaign on Kickstarter ever. Said to be designed for everyone, the 2.2 pound 3D printer is only $299. It lets you download models and print and only uses one tenth of the power that other 3D printers use. The other one worth mentioning was the Mota 3D. I think that means pot in Spanish. But not because of its success, but because the company realized it was selling a 3D printer so cheap that it didn't work well. So people questioned and complained about the thing, and the company came out and said, actually, you're right. I guess that's what happens when you try and sell a 3D printer for 99 bucks and claim it to be quality. The 3 Doodler, or 3D Doodler, the 3 Doodler, yeah, was a super fun idea. It was the first 3D printing pin that worked by drying the 3D filament in midair. This guy made over two million. Another two million idea was the SIO, a pocket sensor that scans the world around you and relays its information to your smartphone. Like, point it at an apple and it'll tell you that that apple is an ap apple. SIO. Don't forget the Mozilla Matchstick came out of Kickstarter, just like the Google Chromecast, but just 25 bucks. And we gotta balance it out. Of course, some projects failed. Not to poke fun at them, but you guys know I love poking fun at really stupid gadgets, so here we go. Canadian startup Brand and Grotesque, what kind of name is that now that I think of it, had an interesting dream to alter a video game controller into a blood-sucking machine. And it didn't go so well. No, it didn't. Dubbed Bloodsport, the controller was modified with a blood collection system that took the player's blood whenever he or she suffered a wound in a game. Yeah, outsiders were weirded out by that, and Kickstarter decided to suspend that whole project. Sorry, your blood-sucking game didn't work out, man. The Anonabox was a project worth getting mad at. The internet router said to make your online activity anonymous started out as a success, but ended up as a controversial flaw. The company misled funders into believing that the hardware was custom made. This was quickly proven wrong as followers found the exact same casing on sale on a Chinese website. No matter the project's success level, Kickstarter does a lot for anybody who's got an idea. And if you're lucky, that idea could turn into the million dollar app. If you guys want to leave a comment on other Kickstarter projects that you paid attention to this year, I'd enjoy that. Speaking of comments, we're starting a new kind of content and possibly video for you guys. This actually means I'm saying goodbye as the redheaded geek, not as Daria or the geek who happens to have red hair, but the redheaded geek on the redheaded geek show. I've so enjoyed every single one of my episodes and I really appreciate every single one of my viewers. So on any social media platform that you use, you can ask a question about Dell, laptops, stuff like that, and put hashtag ask parts people afterwards. And we will make sure to get those questions answered for you. 
and possibly in a video format. So you will definitely be seeing me again. Until next time, right?